Good morning. It's February 2017. We're going to make charro beans or rancho beans or cowboy beans. They have a lot of names. But the first thing we're going to need for this uh, sort of half batch is a half a pound of dry pinto beans. I think you can use black beans for this, but I really don't like them. Pinto beans are, are much better for charro beans. So the first thing we're going to do is... Okay. Okay, we're back. We've uh, put our beans in a saucepan. This is a half a pound by weight. If you don't have a scale, it is approximately one and one third cups uh, using a dry cup measure. I used a one cup measure and a one third measure and it's about exactly right. We've put them in a pan and covered them with, as you might be able to see, water. And we're going to let these soak for at least five hours and overnight is really perfect. So we'll be back when the beans have soaked. For this uh, <clears throat> bean recipe, we're going to need a little bit of bacon. I generally buy bacon when the grocery store is wanting to get rid of it and they're selling it for a dollar a pound, as you can see here. And then I just cut off about what I think is three strips of it when it's frozen and fry it up. So. I'm going to show all the ingredients together, but this one I wanted to show the the cost was uh, really a dollar. So we're going to fry up this frozen bacon because we're going to use the grease that renders out of it, the fat that renders out of it, to make the vegetables that we're going to put in the beans. And if it doesn't make enough, I have some extra baking grease, but I think it will. And this is about, I'm guessing, around three strips of bacon. You don't have to use bacon. You can use ham or ham hocks or you can probably even use sausage. Although I've only used bacon, so here we are. Okay, here's the chilies I put in. We have two serranos there, and they're they're pretty large as serranos go, so if you give regular size ones, probably three. One habanero, I like heat. And one jalapeno, and I clean the guts out of the jalapeno because I, I'm not fond of the texture of all that that fibrous material in the middle of them. So, but I don't clean really the other peppers. I get rid of a few of the seeds, but but really nothing else. I uh, I like the heat. But anyway, so two serranos a jalapeno and a habanero. We're going to dice all this. I'm going to show all the ingredients together, but this is how they're coming together. Okay, here we have a half of a white onion, a half of a large white onion that's cut in a, a reasonably small dice. We're going to fry it or uh, uh, caramelize it a little bit, not completely, just going to warm it up with the peppers. So it's a half of a large white onion. So here we are with our beans again, and they've been soaking in this water for several hours, and they've absorbed a lot of the water. So overnight is usually what I do, but this time I've left them to soak for about five hours, so we should be good. Uh, I'm going to drain them and rinse them. I, I think it's important to drain them. Some people say to keep that water. I don't keep it because it, it makes the beans taste kind of dirty. So I'm going to drain them, and then I'm going to add water back to them, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, this is how I do it. I drain them and then I rinse them really well in a, a sieve here so that the beans are pretty clean. After rinsing the beans, I add them back to the same pan which I rinsed and I add enough water to cover them about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. We can always add more water later. Keep in mind we haven't added any salt to this and we're not going to for quite a while. Okay, here is the vegetables we're going to cook. It's the chilies and the half a white onion. And as soon as the bacon's done rendering, we're going to take it out and put these in the bacon grease and soften them up a little bit. Over here, don't get dizzy. I turned the beans on kind of a low heat just to start them warming up. 
uh, because the bacon is pretty close to done rendering its fat. So uh, we'll be back. Put the peppers and the onion in the bacon fat and I had to add a little bit of more bacon fat which I happen to have. If you don't have it you can use um, shortening or um, cooking oil. I wouldn't use olive oil. Um, or if you don't use bacon you can just use some sort of fat to cook these. I wouldn't use olive oil and I wouldn't use butter. But you can certainly use corn oil, canola oil, any flavor neutral oil. Uh, traditionally the recipe would use lard. I never have lard so I use bacon fat which is just rendered pork fat like lard is. And when you do this, when you start cooking your vegetables down, turn your beans up on high heat so they come to a boil and watch them closely. Okay, here's the garlic I'm going to use. It's several uh, cloves. I've uh, cut the stem end off and crushed them with the back of a chef's knife. I use a ceramic knife to cut things. Don't use a ceramic knife to crush garlic. We're not going to chop the garlic. We're just going to crush it and take the paper off. Uh, if you're the kind of person that doubles the amount of garlic in recipes, you should know that's already been done once. Most recipes would call for less than half this much garlic, but I like garlic, so here we go. Okay, here's the garlic without the turban. I think that's what that's called, or paper around it. And here's the bacon that I uh, rendered and I chopped up into small bits, which at some point we're going to add uh, to the beans. So I've rendered, uh, or I've cooked the uh, vegetables plenty, they're very soft. The beans have come to a boil, so I'm going to add the vegetables and the grease they cooked in into the beans, um, leaving them on simmer. I'm going to put in the garlic and we're going to put in our spices, which are over here. This is a teaspoon and a half of cumin, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. So this is all going in the beans, except the bacon's not going in yet because it's pre-cooked. So um, the garlic, the spices, and the vegetable cooked vegetables and the grease they cooked in are going in the beans. Okay, we have the beans, the garlic, the spices, which is a half a teaspoon of cayenne, a teaspoon and a half of paprika, and a teaspoon and a half of cumin, as well as the vegetables that we cooked down in the bacon grease and the bacon grease that they were cooked in. In the beans, I'm going to bring this back up to a boil. I'm going to cover it, bring it up to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer and let it cook for about an hour, but you need to check it after you know, maybe every 10 minutes or so and make sure it's not getting too dry. You don't want this to get it all dry. This needs to be soupy. So if it's getting dry, add a little bit more water to it. So here we go. Okay, at this point the beans have been cooking about an hour, simmering. So we're going to add the already cooked bacon. And uh, give them a little stir. And I'm going to add some cracked black pepper and uh, cook this about another half an hour. Okay, the beans have been cooking about an hour and a half, simmering with covered. And um, they're a little thin. I think the gravy's a little thin, so I'm going to cook them with the lid off for a little while. And I'm going to add. Um, a handful of chopped cilantro. Stir it up. And I'm going to cook them about another 10 minutes uncovered and see if this uh, cooks down a little bit. At this point, the beans have cooked about an hour and 40 minutes simmered, and uh, I'm going to taste them and see how soft they are. You definitely don't want these beans to be, this is not pasta, you don't want them to be al dente. You want them to be soft, so I'm going to give it a test and we'll see where we are. 